In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to create walls, window opening and door openings. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn to create windows, doors and we will apply some colors also. If you are interested in previous set of tutorials, link to complete playlist is given in the description. At first, we will change the color. To change color, click three times on the walls. So it will select complete object. Then click on paint bucket. Then click here and select colors. Then scroll down. And from here, I will use this C04. Then click on these walls. Then press spacebar and close this dialog box. Click outside. We will have to create group of this object so that it will not stick to other objects which we are going to create. To create a group, press first mouse button and drag the mouse and release the mouse. So it will select all the objects. Then right click on the object and click on make group. So it will be converted into single entity. Then next is to create window. Zoom there. Pan it. Then click here and select rectangle. And specify first point. Specify second point. Press spacebar. Then select this rectangle. Click on move. Select this end point and place it in empty space so that we can create window here. Press spacebar. Click outside. Then click on offset. Click inside this rectangle. Take your cursor above and specify distance of 50. Enter. Then again press spacebar. Then click on rectangle. Then click on this midpoint, take your cursor below on this horizontal line. So it will show this red dot that is on edge object snap. Then here we will specify distance of 25, enter. Then again click on this end point, take your cursor below. Now here you can observe that it has given 900 mm automatically. And 55 is approximate distance and not exact distance. So we want to maintain that 900 mm as it is. For that you will have to type comma. So it will take that 900 mm as it is. And then we want to specify width of 25. Enter. And press spacebar. Then remove unwanted objects. Click here. And click on the objects to be removed and press spacebar. Then select these objects and press delete button on the keyboard. Then to convert it into 3D object, click on push pull. Click inside this object, take your cursor on the front side and specify width of 50. Enter. Press spacebar. Then again we will have to convert this object into group. For that, again select complete object by dragging the mouse. Then right click on the object and click on make group. And click outside. Then again click on rectangle. Specify first point, specify second point. Same way on this side. Specify first point, specify second point. Press spacebar. Then to reverse this face, select these faces. Right click and click on reverse faces click outside then we will move it inside select both of them for multiple selection you will have to press control then click on move then specify this end point as first point then zoom there and click on this midpoint press spacebar click outside then we will apply material and colors. For that click on paint bucket. Click here and click on metal. Then select this aluminium anodize. And click on this frame. Then again click here. And select this translucent. Then I will use this glass gold. Click on it and click on this internal faces. 
press space bar and close this dialog box then again we will convert this object into group press first mouse button drag the mouse and release the mouse right click on the object and click on make group click outside then we will move it and place it here select the object click on move zoom there and select this midpoint zoom minus orbit it and place it here on the midpoint then i want to copy this window at other locations also so here you can see that control to toggle copy press control once so here plus sign is added that means copy is activated then specify base point click on this end point and pan it and place it here on this end point then again press control once for copy then specify this point as a base point and place it here on this end point zoom minus then i want same window here also for that again press control specify base point take it outside and click now for placing here i will have to rotate this window click on rotate then take your cursor below once it shows the protector in blue color click there then take your cursor on this side and click then take your cursor on this side once it shows angle of 90 degree click there then press space bar then click on move then select this midpoint zoom minus orbit it and place it on this midpoint orbit further zoom there then place it on this midpoint then again press control for copy then specify this base point and pan it and this will be our second point click on this end point so all the windows has been placed then next will be to create window here press space bar zoom there click on rectangle specify first point specify second point press space bar select this rectangle right click click on reverse faces then move it click on move specify this end point as a base point take it outside and click press space bar click outside zoom there then click on offset click inside this rectangle take your cursor above and specify gap of 50 enter press space bar select inside shape and delete it then click on push pull click inside this shape take your cursor on the front side specify gap of 50 enter then press space bar then again we will have to convert this object into group select the object right click on the object make group click outside click on rectangle specify first point specify second point press space bar click on this rectangle right click click on reverse faces then click on move select this end point zoom there and click on this midpoint press space bar click outside then to apply colors again click on paint bucket then here we will use this glass crush gray click on it click inside then again click here and select metal click on aluminum anodize and click on this frame press space bar and close this dialog box then again select this object right click make group then click on move select this midpoint then orbit it pan it and place on this midpoint press control for copy select this point and this point 
press space bar so this windows has also been placed then next is to create this door you can also type r for rectangle specify first point specify second point press space bar click on this rectangle right click reverse faces then move it click on this end point click here press space bar click outside click on push pull click inside this rectangle take your cursor on the front side and specify thickness of 25 enter then press space bar then we will create some lines click on lines then take your cursor to this midpoint click and click on this end point again click on this end point and this midpoint then this midpoint to this midpoint then click on this end point and this end point press space bar then we will apply colors for that click on paint bucket then click here and choose this wood then press space bar select this complete object then we will apply this cherry original and click here on the object then we will apply this osb then we don't want to apply osb to this complete object press space bar and click outside then click on this osb and click inside the portions where you want to apply this material then press space bar then select this complete object right click make group then close this dialog box then move it click on move select this end point then zoom here and place it on this end point now here it is not showing end point so just you have to orbit it and adjust different view so that it will easily show the end point here it is now showing the end point then again click on this end point take it inside on this edge and specify distance of 100 enter press space bar click outside click on zoom extends and orbit it so this door is also ready then next is to create these internal doors zoom there press r for rectangle specify first point specify second point press space bar click on this rectangle right click reverse faces then click on move select this end point take it outside and click zoom there press space bar click outside then click on push pull click on this rectangle take your cursor on this side specify thickness of 25 enter press space bar then click on lines specify first point here and specify second point here then orbit it then create one more line here click on this point and this point press space bar then we will apply material for that select this object click on paint bucket and again click on this cherry original and click then press space bar click outside then click on this floor dark and click here orbit it click here then press space bar close this dialog box then select this object right click click on make group then click on move select this midpoint zoom here and click on this midpoint then press control click on this end point and this end point then again press control click on this end point take it outside we will rotate it and place it here 
if you want to rotate during move command take your cursor on the surface with respect to which you want to rotate then it will show these red dots take your cursor on it and click and specify angle so here i want angle of 180 click there then select this midpoint then orbit it pan it and place on this midpoint so these doors has been placed then next is to place doors here now here door size is smaller we will check it click on tape measure tool specify first point take your cursor on this point it is 800 mm press escape and this door is click on this end point of 900 mm press escape so we will just copy this door, press space bar, click on this door, type M for move, press control for copy and specify this point as a base point, take it outside and click. Press space bar, click outside, then zoom here and click on push pull, then click on this surface, zoom there. Now as this is a group, therefore it is not push pulling it. Press space bar. If you want to make any changes in the group atom, just double click on it. Then click on push pull and click on this face. Take your cursor inside, specify gap of 100, enter. Press space bar, click outside, then we will move this object. Select it, type M for move. Click on this midpoint, then orbit it and zoom it and click. Again, it is not showing object snap, so just you have to orbit. We will see it from the bottom side and click on this midpoint. Press Ctrl, click on this endpoint, take it outside and click. Again, we want to place this door here. For that we will have to rotate it. Take your cursor on the top face. Take your cursor on this red plus sign. Click and rotate it. Then we want angle of 0 degree. Click there. Then click on this midpoint. Then click on this end point. Then zoom there. Select this end point. Then orbit it and see it from the below. Take your cursor on this green axis and specify gap of 75. Enter. Then zoom minus, zoom extends and orbit it. So in this way both these doors has been placed. Press space bar. Then we want to apply some stone effect here. For that click on paint bucket. Click here and click on stone. Then we will apply this rack stone ashla. Click on it. Again this wall is a group. Therefore it cannot apply this color. Press space bar. Then double click on this wall. Then click on this stone. And click. Press space bar. Click outside and close this dialog box. Click on ISO. Zoom minus. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to place slab, parapet wall, stairs, railings and all other remaining details. So thanks for watching. We will stop here.